Hey everyone, how are you? David, how was your semester? It was pretty good. I'm glad it's over because now it's time to work on my UCA proposals. Oh yes, excellent. Carl, tell me, how tired are you of Zooming? I am completely exhausted of Zooming. I can't wait to see people in person. Carl, it'd be great to see you in person. Looking forward to it. I can't wait to see you in person as well, David. I can't wait to see the two of you. And <laughs> we can't wait to see all of you. So we want to talk a little bit about what our plans are for UCEA this, this November and why we're going hybrid. Um, we think, you know, convention, as we know, is an anchor to our community. And we think it's a really important time to come together, to return to in-person, to strengthen our community, and just hang out and chill. Um, and we know there are questions about the, about the fall. We have questions too. But we want to assure you that we're going to be taking all safety, for, all safety and health protocols and concerns into account. We know we'll be following CDC guidelines for big groups. The hotel has got lots of stringent protocols themselves. And we know we've been seeing these fantastic photos all across social media about how we're getting our vaccines. So we wanna to continue to encourage people to vaccinate. Um, we hope that, that people will be able to travel face to face, but we also know that some of our realities this year may not make that possible for everybody. So we do wanna make convention in our community accessible to everyone, whether you're face to face or whether you're remote. And we know that this is an important time for us as friends and colleagues, and also an important time to talk about our research. Carl. Yes, this year, Monica, we have some exciting um, changes um, to kind of relax uh, things a bit. And these are things that uh, we decided to maybe not go back to what was our normal before 2020. So we decided to take advantage of this time and look into our, the surveys um, from, that we received from past conventions uh, from UCA community and take advantage of this time to implement some of those things. So here's a few exciting things that we have that are going to change this year um, as a, at least a test run and we'll see what the feedback is for future years. So the first one, I think this one is right up there with one of the things that people will be so excited about is there's no more 7 a.m. sessions on Friday and Saturday. Um, those business meetings and SIG meetings will be uh, woven into the course of the um, regular schedule. Um, the next thing is we're going to implement a lunch hour on Friday and Saturday and a break time on Thursday. Um, so that way you can catch up with old friends, go have lunch um, or meet up with some new friends um, through the mobile app and uh, go grab some lunch. There's right next to the meeting space near the convention center. There's an easy place to get uh, food. And also the North Market in Columbus is only a few minutes away where there's multiple uh, options in that area to eat. So those are two exciting schedule changes. Um, a couple other um, things that we're looking to implement this year, two uh, separate meeting rooms that have, will have a little different um, feel to them. The first one is an unstructured space. So that unstructured space can have, can be there for you to have conversations um, with folks. It could be after your session, prior to your session to prepare, um, also for reflection, um, for meditation, for whatever you want the unstructured space to be. It could just be to hang out, grab a cup of coffee and sit and relax. Um, the second one is what we're calling structured randomness. So this is where we'll have some facilitated conversations, things that'll follow like the general sessions or other um, important sessions throughout the week. Um, we will also have uh, the SIG and business meetings um, throughout, those, uh, throughout that room, potentially some book talks uh, and interactions with um, pairs of senior and uh, junior scholars. Um, and much more as we come up and develop the, the structured randomness idea. Um, we'll also have the networking lounge that we've had um, in past uh, couple years. Uh, that'll still be there. 
and um, your, all of your favorite um, interactive um, events and functions, such as uh, receptions and annual banquet. Um, we will still continue to host those things, awards luncheon, um, all those, you know, with the caveat of being able to have large groups meet um, in November and be, you know, in a safe space. So those are some of the changes that we're um, looking forward to uh, implementing this year. And we will um, keep uh, working to make it more engaging and more interactive for you this November. Great, thanks, Carl. Um, so I want to talk a little bit to everybody about the, the virtual act of the conference. So we know you all have been working hard on your proposals. There's been a lot of important uh, changes in our ed community. And so we want to make sure the research that our community is doing um, is accessible to everybody who's both at the conference and who's participating virtually. And so some of our um, sessions and our, and our general sessions will be live streamed so folks can uh, watch, uh, even if they're attending the conference face to face, they can watch some of the general sessions from their hotel room, from common areas. Um, and we think that this could even stimulate discussion or from, or from home uh, if you're unable to tra travel. And we'll also have Simu Live general sessions. So some of our major speakers um, may both be either present at the conference or elsewhere. Um, we could be set up in our convention watching um, them together um, from another location. And so these two options, I think, really um, create a fluid conference. And what's really important for us is that whether you're virtual or you're with us face to face, you feel fully connected and integrated into the conference because we understand that everybody can travel and we all want to get um, back together again. And so we think these options, I think, are really important for reconnecting our community. We're also going to have um, a simplified paper presentation option for asynchronous presentations. And so in the past, when you submit a paper, it will get grouped um, with uh, several other papers and a title will be attached to it. What we're going to do this year with some of our asynchronous sessions is um, really just try to code individual presentations under certain themes so that um, users can, can sign in and they could look and say, okay, I'm interested in instructional coaching or I'm interested in anti-racist school leadership. Um, there'll be a theme for that. You can scroll through and you can look at um, some of the asynchronous presentations that are grouped in those specific areas. And so we're really excited about that option because we think it's gonna increase the accessibility of important topics in the field for, for users both at home and at the conference. We'll be doing virtual roundtables um, where individuals can present from anywhere. So either in person um, or virtual, which again, that's about us being able to connect um, everybody back together, which I think is, is really important. Um, and then lastly, there, there will be enhanced capabilities to connect in-person and virtual audiences in other venues. And we're still um, surveying folks, thinking through different ideas, talking with other um, convention planners to understand what is the state of the art ways that we can engage um, our virtual and face to face communities at the at the same time. And so I'm really excited about all the hard work that's gone into planning. And I know even though these are difficult times and they're new times, I think there's going to be um, a lot of positives to this conference. And we're going to be surprised at how well connected we are to each other. Well said. Is. And it's like, and that's absolutely the most part for all of us. That's right, Dave. That was great. Um, and so, you know, we look forward, we hope and to see as many of you as possible in Columbus. Um, we look forward to seeing you and welcoming you to this beautiful city um, and to get a chance to get back together again. Remember, hashtag UCEA21. Um, post your pictures about your being vaccinated so we can all share the share the, the safety and the love. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always follow up with us at headquarters. Thanks again, everybody, and have a great one.